Alright, so welcome to the Iroquois village. Uh, we're standing in front of the longhouse and this is called the Turtle Clan Longhouse. Добро пожаловать в поселок Ироква, 15-го столетия. Мы стоим у дома клана Черепахи, и там в этом доме жило где-то 30 человек. Inside you'll notice uh, the uh, smoke hole in the roof, and they had, usually had three fires in here. They would keep uh, fires going to, to dry and preserve their corn, their meat. Um, they would have beds made out of tree bounds. Cedar bombs with uh, fur on top, and people sleep on a comfortable. Значит, в этих этих домах постоянно горели три костра, которые сучали еду, то есть кукурузу, другие зерна, и люди там спали внутри на кожах, на шкурах животных, и тоже грелись при этих кострах. И все это мы сейчас увидим. Да. Okay, we'll go inside. Welcome, welcome to the house. <laughs> <laughs> they have different type of corns and squash. This is a, a dark corn that they have. This is the original squashes that we used to grow. So you get different ones here. And again, the corn. They used to have also different type of beans and peas. This here is a bear, black bear. Small. For beds. Um, some of the beds would have cedar bound on the bottom, cedar branches. And then you have fur on top of it. And this is where you sleep. Again, this is your bedding. This is uh, the cedar. Put underneath. And then you have your animal furs on top. And people would sleep. Native underwear. <laughs> Need of lingerie. India ski trusi. This is for you, because it's yours. It's, that's, that's a deer. This would be your uh, your loincloth. Okay. To hold your family jewels. Надо примерить. This is grinding corn. Stop. And you go like this. You end up grinding all your corn or whatever thing you want, and then you make it into uh, food. You use these for making arrowheads or chipping. It would create sparks, and uh, they would start fires with this stuff. Из этого можно сделать стрелы и также делать искры, чтобы зажечь костер. but birch bark is just the best to have around, especially if it's birch damp outside, bark. because even if it's wet, it will still start in there. Yeah, it's good timing. So you can see it kind of floating around upstairs there. Um, when there's a sunbeam coming in, you can see all the smoke billowing upstairs. Today is obviously not the greatest day for that. Um, but basically, it just shows how you would dry and preserve your food, how much smoke it's emitted. I mean, this is a tiny little fire here, and you can see all the smoke that's being emitted off of it. You can imagine three full ones going seven days a week, 365 days a year, day and night, how much smoke must be coming off these fires. Um, so that's one reason why your life expectancy here 600 years ago was so short. You remember this to be about 40, 45 years old. So in a couple of years, I would be somebody's grandmother. I mean, that's... <laughs> I hope you don't think I look like your grandmother, but... Um, you know, Iroquois game called The Little Brother of War. It's to play a typical game called The Little Brother of War. 
And we call this lacrosse in English. And so what you do is you'd have the ball and go like that and we would throw it. And there would be teams actually of, uh, some teams could actually be up to 50 people to 100 people per team. And this was to help train the young men to become warriors, it would give them physical contact, and some of these games would last for a week. It was used to train the young men, and some of these games were actually so um, violent in playing that people would, would die. Иногда это было настолько насильно, что люди даже умирали на месте игры. The point of it wasn't to kill somebody. It was the point of this game was to to uh, teach people how to work together as a team. Но эти эти игры не были созданы, чтобы убить кого-то, а чтобы учиться работать как команда. Then they got these uh, there's these games called a bone and stick game. What you have to try to do is you flip it up and you try to get this into there like that. So <laughs> <laughs> this is an early style native baby cradle board. Baby would be two or three months or even at birth, the baby would sit in here and this would be carried around the woman's back. And they would have little things on here to just keep the baby occupied and playing. And right, as you look above here, you've got a large dream catcher. Help him protect the people sleeping in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Черепахи. Например, если девушка из клана черепахи, ей нельзя выходить замуж за мужчину из клана черепахи, чтобы были хорошие гены. Были девять разных животных, разных кланов. Кланы, разные животные кланов. Змея, волк, цапля, медведь, бобер, олень, орел. Она могла бы ходить за медведя или волка, но не за черепаху. Если бабушке не понравился ее жених, то бабушка могла сказать, нет, ты не будешь э, с ним жить, потому что он не будет хорошим охотником и он не будет э, доставать достаточно мяса для бабушки. Take a look here. This is actually uh, the outer shell unit structure of the longhouse, what it would look like. They would build the outer shell first, and then afterward they would uh, fill it with birch bark on the outside and put in the bedding. Здесь видно, как начинается строить longhouse, то есть длинный дом. Сначала делается этот шкелет, а потом уже ложится кожа дерева. Как называется кожа терега? Кара. Кара. Кара.
these are drying frames. What you used to do is take your meat, and you'd uh, tie it up here, have fire under here, and you would dry it, and you'd smoke it. Sometimes you would put tarps or cover over top of it so the smoke would stay in, and they would dry their, uh, dry their meat. And behind you there, they would be drying fish. Это место, где сушится рыба и мясо. Иногда эти рамы накрываются чем-то, может кожей, чтобы они продымились как следует. И рыба, и мясо. Иногда это остается открытым. So we're going into another longhouse. This is divided into three sections. This is the Wolf Clan longhouse. Мы сейчас пойдем в другой длинный дом, и этот принадлежит клану Волк. And this is a modern uh, showcase, not not uh, the traditional one that we saw. So we'll be seeing different artifacts in here. Это больше сделан как музей, чтобы мы могли оценить их объекты. Welcome to the Wolf Clan. Четырнадцатого, построить такой дом, это бы ему заняло два года. Do you notice I got the deer hide on? It's actually quite very warm. Um, winter time. You can sleep on this or you can just have it wrapped around you and keep it from freezing. Это олень шкура. И Рон сказал, что она очень теплая и зимой ею можно накрыться. Или, или обернется.